filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Yeah, I'm currently assigned to the Southeast uh, Divisional Tactical Unit. Basically, uh, we like to say we're, we're tip, of the, tip of the spear. You know, we're, we're out there looking for bad guys to, to put in jail. We're not out there trying to do anything else than find the uh, the absolute worst guys that are preying on the neighborhood and the local our local area on the southeast side of Houston. We located a vehicle we'd lost earlier. Uh, it had been selling, uh, believed to have been selling narcotics. Let's see if we can get a stop on him now. Nope. Right now, the passenger's probably trying to get rid of the dope. That's why they're taking a long time. Still slow rolling on my flood. I guess they're getting rid of the dope. Watch out! Get in the car, get in the car! Huh. No. Okay, on the on the ground, going back, uh, going back one street, one street holding his waistband. Quit your crying. Okay. Try to grab my gun. Try to grab my gun. What are you trying to do? You want to get killed? Huh? I don't know. It's, I think it might have been. What's wrong? Because wait, What's wrong? Huh? He tried to fight with him. Hey, let him not take the driver in custody. Okay. What's wrong, huh? Why are you crying? He threw that on you? All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go back up there and handle that, all right? That's not fair for him to throw that on you, all right? We got your pants. We're going to put Let's you in the back seat. We're going to get you so we got right now, you got obviously this, most of this right here is low denomination. We're going to have 20 tens, fives, lots of ones. That's all, we only got a couple of hundreds. That's all pretty common for street level sales. This kind of quality and quantity, just small amounts. going to be street level narcotic salesmen out here in the local neighborhood. Hey, what's the deal, man? I'm, I'm Officer Wagner. I'm going to try to stop you earlier and you, uh, you want to take off a run from me. What happened? What's the deal? Tell me the story. Somebody, somebody set me up. Someone set you up? Who set you up? That driver? Well, why, why'd you roll with it? Why didn't you just get out and say, hey, officer, this guy's got drugs. I don't want nothing to do with this guy. Okay. I heard you got a, fel like a felony warrant and stuff like that. You got a couple of felony warrants? Well, what? So you didn't want to run because of felony warrants or just want to run because of the dope? No, because he threw it on me. So what's all this money from? Yeah, that's what I have. I'm like, you know how you get paid for doing such stuff. Wow. Where do you work? Oh, no, I'm not saying You like, ain't got no job? No, sir, I'm not saying You got a pay stub? No, sir. You filed taxes last year? You pay your taxes jail. last year? You were in jail? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, how much money is this right now? What am I holding? How much? It's like $600. About like 600 What kind of work do you do to get that? No, my wife gave it to me. Your wife gave it to you? Did, you're on allowance? Sir. Did she put you on an allowance? No, sir, she works, sir. She works? What does she work doing? Like car. She does cars. That makes no sense. What does she do? Right. I don't know exactly. She works. You don't know what your wife does. She just does right. something with some cars. Okay. And she pays you cash. Yes, she give me money. Like and ones, fives, tens, twenties, and a couple of hundreds. She give me all kinds of money. She's all kinds of money. Okay. Well, why why'd you grab that policeman's gun? I ain't grab no gun, sir. I opened a ball and I'm trying to grab. Oh, so you just grabbed onto something on the way down? You broke your fall with his pistol butt. I swear to God on my life, sir. What about the driver? Is there anything over there he's gonna have on him now? 
don't know, so he gave it to me. But right now, man, you got to take the man's ride, all right? So man up. So be glad you're not dead today riding away in the morgue. So going to the morgue right now in the back of a hearse. So you lucky. You grab a police officer's gun, we're going to shoot you. That's just straight up. So, all right? Who's this guy to you real quick? I've been knowing the guy for a few months, you know. Okay. And did, it, did, he, did he tell you not to stop? Was it him that said, dude, I, I got something. I, I don't stop. Don't stop. Let me no, get sir. I, I, when he came, I told him at the line. He's like, man, they following us. I was like, man, those cops are not after us. Okay. And so we y'all were talking street. for a while, and he just shocked you by jumping out of your car as it was moving and running. Yeah. He, he was like, man, what you doing? I was like, man, them police cars, they not going around. They must be pulling me over. Okay. So I, that's why you see this truck park right here. I didn't go around Have that you ever truck. been arrested for a drug case? Yes, sir. You have? How many? About two. About two? Way back years. Maybe more? I thought yeah. we found some more on you than two, a lot more. No, nah, y'all found some more. About four. To About be four. Honest, okay. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to be honest. Years ago. Okay. Yes, sir. Now we're going to be honest? Yes, sir. Okay, so two, honest. four, we're going to maybe six when we get all so done with this. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. so you got all these drug cases. Your partner bails out with a bunch of drugs on them and money. Why would you make me think that after you not want to pull over, that you're not involved in any of this? That you're just an innocent victim of giving a nice man a ride? That's so... I'm not gonna play ignorant with you because you're right. Man, 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 okay. man, 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 with you. Okay. I knew that he was still involved and in doing, but I didn't know he had anything on him. I wouldn't have been driving. That's not even my car. Okay. Okay. You might be going to jail for evading in a vehicle. Okay. Okay. Officer, please don't do me like that. Uh, no, I didn't can, do nothing can, to you. Can, can you touch? Just cut I your brake. I, I mean, just not, cut your break. Not, not, on, not on that. Officer, take me to jail for something else, sir. Like, what do you want me to do? Just make something up? I mean, I mean what, do you, I, what would you like to go to jail for? Public intoxication. Okay, or? just take you to jail for PI today? Yeah, Have you I been mean, drinking? No, sir. Well, how? <laughs> <laughs> Officer. Okay. So, all right, dude, look at us. Okay, bang, bang. Driver is going to jail for uh, evading in a motor vehicle and possession control substance for the crack cocaine found in his driver's seat. Our front passenger over here has got three felony warrants. He's going for his three felony warrants, parole violation. This uh, shows possession uh, control substance with intent to deliver. He's going to jail for that. He became a policeman probably because it was a uh, natural thing to do. My dad was a state police officer and head of narcotics. My brother is now a lieutenant with the Harris County Sheriff's Office uh, after the military act came in the Joint Sheriff's Office. Came in 2100. I'm a field training officer now. Uh, kind of give some of my knowledge to some of the guys out here. Frank, put it in us and I'll Thank you, man. Uh, we're en route to a possible driving while intoxicated uh, person driving southbound on our beltway. We're going to see if we can't catch up to them and uh, see what their problem is. Apparently, they hit the curb a few times. But... Where they're right. Where they're right. Got a beer already out on top of the 